Welcome back to the show. Now, here's your host, Captain Jackhammer! Ladies and gentlemen, John from Dark Spire Film. <laughs> John, thanks for being on the show. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Captain, thank you for having me. It's, um, I'm really happy to be here. It's truly, truly an honor. Obviously, matchmaking is what you guys are best known for, and matchmaking, of course, is your flagship machinima. But what other machinimas have you guys done that maybe the audience hasn't heard of? Well, back in the day, way, way before matchmaking, we actually were a parody group. So what we would do would we would take um, other people's shorts and uh, replicate them shot by shot and kind of uh, play around with them and kind of make fun of them a bit. Um, however, that kind of got tiresome after a while, and we wanted to really get into our own storylines and make our own type of series. So because Gears of War was really hot at the time, we decided let's do something different besides Red versus Blue and let's do a, a Gears of War machinima. Um, we, we looked around the internet and we didn't see many out there, so we, we decided that would be the best engine to work with. Um, that kind of turned into the Geared series, which is um, our earliest series, which was like the first actual episodic um, project that we'd worked on. After that, we kind of dabbled a bit in uh, Crackdown and uh, with our Hello Brian series, which never truly worked out because... The engine was just impossible to work with. We we came we 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 managed to come up with some some decent stuff for uh, the first episode, but uh, we knew that down the line the the type of stuff that we wanted to do would just wouldn't work out. So we decided to cancel that. Um, besides those two engines, we we kind of worked a bit with Half Life for a while uh, because we we were big fans of the um, the Elite World and uh, Lit Fuse, and we uh, we kind of wanted to do something with Half Life because of its kind of um, dramatic um, acting that you could you could get out of that engine. So, um, but we never qu quite got to a point where we could make um, the types of movies and videos that we wanted to make with Half Life. We kind of just made some th like thirty, I think like a thirty second clip of a guy talking. And that's basically all we managed to do. Uh, but besides that, I mean, those are the only engines besides uh, Halo that we used. So what was the motivation for matchmaking? And also, what other machinimas do you guys enjoy to watch? Well, matchmaking kind of, uh, it kind of blossomed out of these shorts that we were coming up with. Uh, when we were kind of messing around on Halo 3, we would come up with these stupid little stories and kind of on the spot and kind of uh, mess with the characters and come up with these just like these little ideas for shorts. Um, at the time, we were really, really heavily involved in our Geared series, so we, we didn't really want to get into Halo because it would detract from our other series. But we decided in the end that, you know, it wouldn't hurt just to make a couple little shorts uh, of the, for these ideas that we had. So we did, we, uh, we spent about like maybe a couple days coming up with these like, just like 20 to 30 second, um, videos, um, with these like ideas that we had and we knocked them out in about a weekend and decided to put them up on YouTube, you know, just to get a feel for, uh, what people, if people would like them or not. And they, uh, they kind of just stuck. So matchmaking sort of just kind of came from these little ideas that we had. Um, you know, some of the shows that we really respect are The Lee World by Smooth Few. We're good friends with those guys. Um, Red vs. Blue, of course, totally pioneered the industry. Uh, Pre-game Lobby. We're big fans of Soda God. Wish, wish he would make another video, but he hasn't in quite a while. Um, and, I mean, those are, those are the main ones that we, we usually get around to watching. When matchmaking started, it was just a hilarious collection of one or two minute skits. Then around episode nine, you guys introduced the character Travis, and a story arc began that continues into the second season. Was this planned, or did it just happen? Well, pretty early on, we had a, a, an idea of how we wanted the series to progress. Um, you know, it was just a very general idea 
of you know them getting banned and them going into this this kind of online version of Halo that's that's made of ba- like um, people that were banned and modders and this kind of world that was constructed constructed out of the you know the kind of rejects of Halo Three. Um, though, sh- like we never planned out exactly how we wanted that to go or how we wanted that to progress. You know, so the, the guard the idea with the guardians and the different characters that we introduced were were done on the spot. You know. Um, the, the way that we work, we would we usually just brainstorm an idea for an episode about a week or a week and a half before the actual filming, and we'll write a script, and during that process, we'll come up with the different characters and kind of put the next piece in line for how we want the story to go. So, in, the sense, in a sense, we had the uh, storyline planned pretty early on, but we just didn't know exactly how it was going to work out and exactly how we were going to get to that point. So what can we look forward to from Dark Spire Films in the future? Can we expect maybe a matchmaking movie? Well, right now what we have planned for the series is we're basically going to be finishing up Season 2 and then encapsulating all of Season 3 into a movie. We felt that a movie would be the best way to um, portray the type of action and story that we wanted to um, achieve. So... That's basically what we have planned for the uh, the series. Besides that, we're also working on um, a really big project for the Machinima community, uh, which isn't technically under Dark Spire Films, but um, we're, we're really excited to be releasing that, but we can't really give out any more details besides that. You know, I have a movie coming out next summer. It's... No, no, no. We agreed you wouldn't use this show to promote your movie that you aren't even including us in. But guys... No. No, Jack. Bad Jack. That's a bad Jack. Fine. <sighs> well, that's all the time we have for tonight. I want to thank John from Dark Spire Films for being here. I want to thank TG Pyro for producing the show. I want to thank TG Gidefux for the sets. Thanks to my clan, The Guard, for helping make this happen. Thanks to the announcer, Mankey Bilar Wallaby. Thanks to the Aztec Elite Band. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Captain Jack Hammer, and I will see you next time. Woohoo!